An Arctic snowy owl is recuperating tonight after coming across poison meant for rats and mice. It's the second feathered victim of rat poison to have arrived at Willowbrook Wildlife Center so far this year. WTTW News reporter Patty Wetley joins us now with more details. So Patty, volunteers with the Chicago Bird Collision Monitors found a snowy owl that was grounded with bloody legs and feet earlier this week. What happened and what kind of treatment is the owl getting now? Yeah, so they were able to take it to Willow, Willowbrook Wildlife Center in DuPage County, which is, you know, a, a great operation there. And they found that the bird had a small cut on one of its feet that was just bleeding profusely. And they kind of recognized the symptoms and were able to ascertain after running some tests that the bird's blood wasn't clotting and that its red blood cell count was really low, which is a classic case of the bird having fallen victim to a specific kind of rodenticide, which um, causes anticoagulation. And it just, the bird was just going to bleed and bleed and bleed. Yeah, so any like minor little cut could not be, yes, uh, could not exactly. be spotted. Um, exactly. This is the second time in recent weeks right. that a bird has been brought to the wildlife center right. for rat poison treatment. What do we know about rat poison and birds in about, you know, 35 seconds? Yeah, well, earlier this year, um, a bald eagle was brought in, same issue, bleeding profusely. And the problem is these very powerful, potent um, rodent poisons, you know, the rodents eat them, then the birds prey on the rodents. And these poisons are so powerful that they end up in the birds system as well. And, you know, we might want to get rid of rats, but we're not trying to get rid of bald eagles. So really need to read bottles of poison and not use things that have anticoagulants in them just for starters just for starters yeah uh, i'm just sure there's starters. more okay yes. good to know patty wetley thanks so much thanks brandis and you can read patty's full story on our website it's all at wttw.com news